In this video, we're going to talk about compound interest. And compound interest is what loans and investments are modeled on today. They are not really modeled on simple interest, which is the first one that we learn about. Now, basically, compound interest calculates the interest on the principal as well as any accumulated interest or repayment. So what, what do I mean by that? Well, let's take an example. Let's say that you invest money. So let's say you invest um, $1,000. And let's say that you receive an interest rate, and we'll do a really uh, simple one of 10% per annum. Currently, you can't get an interest rate like that, but it's just a nice, easy one to calculate. Okay, so when you first put your money in, we'll call that the zero year, you have $1,000. Okay. After one year has passed, you receive your interest of 10%, which is $100. $100 is 10% of $1,000. In your bank account, you now have $1,100. Now let's move on to the second year. If this was simple interest, your interest would be $100 again. The interest never changes with simple interest. But with compound interest, it does. This time, rather than finding 10% of $1,000, you're going to find 10% of $1,100 because that is your new amount that is in your bank account. This will be $110. So you are receiving $10 more than if you were using simple interest. You can see that compound interest is going to pay you more than if you have simple interest. Each time the year progresses, the amount of interest you get becomes more and more and more. I'd like to talk more about the equations we use when we work with compound interest. The first equation you can see on the left is one that we did in an earlier topic. And just as a reminder, A stood for amount, P stood for principal, R stood for interest rate, and N stood for the number of time periods. Now, if you think back to the previous example we did, we started with an investment of $1,000. We had an interest rate of 10% per annum, and after two years, this accumulated to $1,210. So looking at our formula here, our principal would have been $1,000. The number of our time periods would have been two years. The interest rate was 10%. And the amount would have been $1,210 because after two years, this is what it accumulated to. Now, if we look at the formula in the middle, it is exactly the same as the formula on the left. They just use different prenumerals here. In fact, some of them are exactly the same. They have the same letter R for interest rate. They have the same letter N for the number of time periods. The only thing that's different is they have PV and FV. So PV stands for present value, which when you think about it is like the original value, which is what principal is all about. It's the original amount of money you invest. And FV stands for future value, which is just like the amount or A, it's the amount it's going to be in the future. So these formulas are exactly the same, they just use different pronumerals. The last formula we're going to look at, you'll notice is a rearrangement of the formula in the middle. And we use this one when we're trying to find the present value, which is the same as the principal, rather than finding the future value, which is the same as the amount. Anyway, that concludes our video just introducing compound interest and the formulas we use. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.